Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate, instituted of God himself, signifying unto us the mystical union that is betwixt Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and first miracle that he wrought in Cana of Galilee, and is commanded in holy writ to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be enterprised nor taken in hand, unadvisedly, lightly, or wantonly, but reverently, discreetly, soberly, and in the fear of God, duly considering the causes for which matrimony was ordained. First, it was ordained for the increase of mankind according to the will of God, and that children might be brought up in the fear and nurture of the Lord and to the praise of his holy name. Secondly, it was ordained in order that the natural instincts and affections implanted by God should be hallowed and directed aright, that those who are called of God to this holy estate should continue therein in pureness of living. Thirdly, it was ordained for the mutual society, help and comfort that the one ought to have of the other, both in prosperity and adversity, into which holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined. Therefore, if any man can show any just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. I require and charge you both, as you will answer the dreadful day of judgment, when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either of you know of any impediment why ye may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, ye do now confess it. For be ye well assured, that so many as a couple together, otherwise than God's word doth allow, are not joined together by God, neither is their matrimony lawful. Ashley, wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife, to live together according to God's law in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her, so long as ye both shall live. I will. Cleo, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband, to live together according to God's law in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him, so long as ye both shall live? I will. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I, Ashley. I, Ashley. Take thee, Cleo. Take thee, Cleo. To my wedded wife. To my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto, and thereto, I give thee my troth. I give thee my troth. Do you loose your hands and now join them together again? I, Cleo. I, Cleo. Take thee, Ashley. Take thee, Ashley. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto. And thereto. I give thee my troth. I give thee my troth. Do you do so? Bless, O Lord, this ring, and grant that he who gives it and she who shall wear it may remain faithful to each other and abide in thy peace and favour and live together in thy love unto their lives' end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord.
With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. With my body. With my body. I thee worship. I thee worship. And all my worldly goods. And all my worldly goods. With thee I share. With thee I share. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon these thy servants, this man and this woman whom we bless in thy name, that, living faithfully together, they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant betwixt them made, whereof this ring, given and received, is a token and pledge, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to thy law. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Join your right hands together. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Ashley and Cleo have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and thereto have given and pledged their troth either to other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving of a ring, and by joining of hands, I pronounce that they be man and wife together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully with his favour look upon you, and so fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace, that ye may so live together in this life, that in the world to come ye may have life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us say together verses from Psalm 37. Put thou thy trust in the Lord, and be doing good. Dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thou in the Lord, and he shall give thee thy heart's desire. Commit thy way unto the Lord, and put thy trust in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall make thy righteousness as clear as the light, and thy just dealing as the noonday. Hold thee still in the Lord, and abide patiently upon him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, save thy servant and thy handmaid. O Lord, send them help from thy holy place. Be unto them a tower of strength. O Lord, hear our prayer. O God of our fathers, bless these thy servants and sow the seed of eternal life in their hearts, that whatsoever in thy holy word they shall profitably learn, they may indeed fulfill the same, that so, obeying thy will and always being in safety under thy protection, they may abide in thy love unto their lives' end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O merciful Lord and heavenly Father, by whose gracious gift mankind is increased, bestow, we beseech thee, upon these two persons the heritage and gift of children, and grant that they may see their children Christianly and virtuously brought up to thy praise and honour. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who has taught us that it should never be lawful to put asunder 
those whom thou by matrimony hast made one, and hast consecrated the state of matrimony to such an excellent mystery that in it is signified and represented the spiritual marriage and unity betwixt Christ and his church. Look mercifully upon these thy servants, that both this man may love his wife according to thy word, as Christ did love his spouse the church, who gave himself for it, loving and cherishing it even as his own flesh, and also that this woman may be loving and amiable and faithful to her husband, and in all quietness, sobriety, and peace, be a follower of holy and godly matrons. O Lord, bless them both, and grant them to inherit thy everlasting kingdom, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, pour upon you the riches of his grace, sanctify and bless you, that ye may please him both in body and soul, and live together in holy love unto your lives' end. The lesson is written in the Epistle of Paul to the Colossians, the third chapter and the twelfth verse. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Here endeth the lesson. O Almighty Lord and everlasting God, vouchsafe we beseech thee to direct, sanctify, and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of thy laws and in the works of thy commandments, that through thy most mighty protection both here and ever we may be preserved in body and soul through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always.